From pitching marvels to batting miracles, here's everything you need to know about baseball players' most rare accomplishments in their careers. First, let's start with the perfect game. The perfect game is one of the pinnacles of pitching in baseball. Not only did Felix Hernandez achieve this in 2012, but other notable pitchers have also etched their names in history with this rare accomplishment. For instance, Roy Halladay threw a perfect game on May 29, 2010 for the Philadelphia Phillies against the Florida Marlins showcasing his dominant control and precision. Another unforgettable moment came on July 18, 1999, when David Cohn of the New York Yankees pitched a perfect game against the Montreal Expos, a performance that is still celebrated by fans of the sport. Each perfect game is a testament to a pitcher's mastery over his craft and mental strength, as achieving perfection under such intense situations and pressure is nothing short of extraordinary. Next, let's look at hitting for the cycle. Hitting for the cycle is a testament to a player's versatility and skill, requiring them to hit a single, double, triple, and home run, all in one game. Apart from Trey Turner and Brock Holt, other players like Carlos Gomez and Cody Bellinger in 2017 also achieved this rare feat. These players showcased their ability to combine power and speed, making insane impacts in their respective games with this world-class display of hitting. Achieving the cycle is not only a rare individual accomplishment, but also a significant contribution to the team's success in the game. Then you've got the unassisted triple play. The unassisted triple play is a moment of quick reflexes and sharp awareness. Apart from Eric Bruntlett's famous play in 2009, you've also got Asdrubal Cabrera completing an unassisted triple play on May 12, 2008 for the Cleveland Indians. This feat occurred during a game against the Toronto Blue Jays, where Cabrera masterfully caught a line drive, touched second base, and tagged the runner from first base. These plays are incredibly rare and require not only physical skill, but also a high level of game intelligence and situational awareness. But what about four home runs in one game? Look, hitting one home run is hard enough, but hitting four home runs in a single game is a display of extraordinary power and a rare occurrence in the MLB. Along with J.D. Martinez, other notable players include Sean Green, who achieved this feat on May 23, 2002, for the Los Angeles Dodgers. Green's performance against the Milwaukee Brewers included six hits and 19 total bases, setting records in the process. The level of offensive firepower is rare and highlights a player's exceptional skill and presence at the plate. I mean, come on, imagine hitting four home runs in one game. But how about the 40-40 club? The 40-40 club remains one of the most exclusive in baseball, showcasing a player's dual threats in power and speed. Besides Alfonso Soriano, other members include Jose Canseco, the first to achieve this feat in 1988, and Barry Bonds in 1996. Alex Rodriguez also joined this elite group in 1998, demonstrating his all-around abilities during his time with the Seattle Mariners. The achievement of both 40 home runs and 40 stolen bases in a single season really shows a rare blend of power and agility, marking a player's season as not just successful, but legendary. You know what else is legendary? Hitting two grand slams in one game. A single grand slam in a game is amazing within itself, but hitting two? Now you're showing off. This has been achieved by only 13 players in MLB history. Fernando Tatis remains a highlight in this exclusive group for his performance on April 23, 1999, when he hit two grand slams in the same inning against the Los Angeles Dodgers. This achievement underscores not only the power of the hitter, but also the rarity of the situation, as it requires the lineup to cycle through effectively, and well, the other team needs to be pretty poor to allow the same player two opportunities with the bases loaded in just one inning. Fernando's accomplishment also highlights the role of teammates and the sequence of events that must align perfectly to set the stage for this rare opportunity. How about the immaculate inning? Well, an immaculate inning is the ultimate showcase of pitching precision and dominance. Achieving this feat involves striking out three batters in an inning with the minimum possible number of pitches. 9. Sandy Koufax, Randy Johnson, and Lefty Grove are among the legendary pitchers who have achieved immaculate innings, which really showcases their ability to overpower hitters. The rarity of this feat lies not only in its execution, but also in its perfect representation of pitching efficiency. Next, we have winning the Triple Crown. Winning the Triple Crown is one of the most challenging feats in baseball, combining a mixture of power, consistency, and run production. The last player to achieve the Triple Crown was Miguel Cabrera in 2012, who led the American League with a 330 batting average, 44 home runs, and 139 RBIs. Before Cabrera, the last Triple Crown was won by Karl Jastrzemski in 1967, underscoring the difficulty of leading a league in these three categories simultaneously. Achieving the Triple Crown not only demands a player to excel in multiple areas of hitting throughout a long season, but also that they remain remarkably consistent against the difficulties of modern-day pitch. 
pitchers. Another rare moment is pitching a no-hitter on debut. Pitching a no-hitter at any point in a major league career is an impressive accomplishment, but doing so in a debut is extraordinary. Bobo Holloman's no-hitter on May 6, 1953 for the St. Louis Browns remains the only time a major league pitcher has thrown a no-hitter in his first game. This feat is particularly significant because debut games can be nerve-wracking, with young pitchers typically facing experienced batters without the benefit of established game strategies or familiarity with opponents. Holloman's achievement speaks to the unpredictability of baseball and the incredible heights that can be reached under pressure. Next is stealing home base. Stealing home base is one of the most daring plays in baseball, requiring not just speed and bravery, but also a keen sense of timing. It's a high-risk move that Jackie Robinson, renowned for breaking MLB's color barrier, was also famous for this aggressive play, stealing home 19 times in his career. This play is dramatic and can shift the momentum of a game, making it a critical strategy in tight situations. How about winning the World Series MVP multiple times? I mean, winning the World Series MVP just once is awesome, but winning the World Series MVP multiple times is super rare. This achievement speaks volumes about a player's ability to perform under pressure and significantly contribute to their team's success on baseball's biggest stage. One of the most iconic players in this category is Sandy Koufax, who won the World Series MVP twice, in 1963 and 1965, with the Los Angeles Dodgers. Koufax's dominant pitching performances in both series were instrumental in securing the championship for the Dodgers. Another legendary figure is Mr. October for his clutch hitting in the postseason. Jackson won the World Series MVP in 1973 and 1977. His performance in the 1977 World Series for the New York Yankees, where he hit five home runs, including three in the deciding game, remains one of the most outstanding displays of power hitting in baseball history. These examples underscore the exceptional nature of rising to the occasion when it matters most and leaving an indelible mark on the sport. This last one is super rare, pitching a no-hitter and striking out 15-plus batters. Pitching a no-hitter while striking out 15 or more batters in the same game is an incredible display of dominance, combining the rarity of a no-hitter with exceptional strikeout capabilities. This is easily one of the most ultimate accomplishments from the mound. One of the most memorable instances was when Max Scherzer of the Washington Nationals achieved this against the Detroit Tigers on June 20, 2015. Scherzer struck out 20 batters, tying the record for the second most strikeouts in a nine-inning MLB game and secured his place in baseball history with his overpowering performance. Another is Clayton Kershaw of the Los Angeles Dodgers, who pitched a no-hitter and struck out 15 batters against the Colorado Rockies on June 18, 2014. Kershaw's mastery over his pitches that day demonstrated his insane skill level and secured his game as one of the most dominant pitching performances in the history of baseball. Achievements like these are celebrated not only for their rarity, but also for showcasing a pitcher's ability to completely control the game, elevating them among the elite in baseball history. So from pitching marvels to batting miracles, that was everything you need to know about baseball players' most rare accomplishments.